But uh, yeah, we're working on some uh, more honorary traits. Uh, we also might actually finish off the trait that we're working on last week. Um, I would have had more done by now, but with the Gen 2 stuff coming coming up, I had, had a bunch of stuff had to help out with the dev in terms of just final things for the fight. I feel like every time we're ready to go, it's like he unloads these like last minute changes. Yeah, my my things start to slow down again now. I think because I've changed the let's see let's see how we go. Um, but also as well, uh, I don't want to go too much into it. But um, this week, uh, me and my girlfriend are going through some issues in the terms of I think it might be over. So um, it's been a bit of a weird week. Uh, but I was going to work on either this trait, which is going to be like a fancy suit, or we can uh, finish off the armor. But again, my computer's going slow now. It's up to you guys what you guys want, want to see. We can kind of start a trait from the, from the start, um, or we can go with the honorary armor. It's up to you guys. What he's after? Unfortunately. I would personally like to see the suit. I don't know about everybody else. The uh, what blazer looking thing that you got there looks pretty fucking cool. Yeah, sick. Okay, we'll get that going. I agree. Um, yeah. Why is my? Okay, I'm just going to close Illustrator and restart it because maybe, maybe that's why. Uh, give me a sec. I don't know why it does this. Good morning, Christian. Oh, what up, Christian? Des as well. Good morning. Uh, okay, just restarting. I don't know why it's, it does this because it never really used to. Um, oh, shit. Successfully recovered document. Um, one second. Um, okay. Can I close that? And open this one. Okay, let's re restart, guys. Okay, we're back in action. Um, yeah, so as I said as well, um, yeah, it looks like a me and my girlfriend might be splitting up, so um, been a bit of a rough week, but not the best timing as well. Um, but uh, it does mean that I'm gonna have a lot more time to focus on building. I'm kind of like that kind of person that was. Old me would have kind of gone off the rails, but uh, new me is just like, fuck this, I just want to lock myself in the room and just rebuild my life, which is uh, what I'm going to do. Um, so we'll kick this off anyway. Um, so again, it's going to be a uh, like a kind of fancy cravat suit. So we'll turn off the suit below and we'll just kind of start putting in some of the line art here. Uh, the computer is running a little bit slower, but it's a little bit better. I think it's also because I was like, um, uh, I've had the other uh, windows open. Um... Matt, I'm sorry to hear about you and your girl. Um, I'm really happy to hear that you're ready to like focus on yourself and work and like just, just get on the grind, man, because that's the only way through it. I remember like my last one. Um, yeah. 
definitely having that mindset of like every time I think of her, I need to go and like I need to do some push ups, I need to do yeah. some workout, I need to and then yeah. also think to myself like the next time that she sees me, I'm gonna be in the best shape of my life, you know, doing the best that I've ever done. Um, yeah. So that kind of motivation is is key, and I'm really happy to hear that that's where you're at with your mind state. Yeah, I, I, 100%. I mean, I kind of, I even said to like, um, you know, a couple of the friends that I got here as well, just said, I was like, I don't, I was like, I don't want to mean that I, I don't want to go out heaps, and like, I, I'm not even thinking of that. All I'm thinking about is like, like I just, because I know, I also know the end of that road is not fulfilling. And going off the rails and all that stuff is just kind of pointless and I'll feel worse off at the end. Whereas I also understand the opportunities in front of me in this space and just feel it's going to be way better in the long run just to channel all that energy into, into, um, yeah, building, building back up. Um, but again it's still still hurts uh because it's kind of like uh we had some issues before um in the past <laughs> where we kind of uh, just had a bit of time apart and it was kind of because last year uh i was going out quite a bit with this guy who'd broken up with his girlfriend but also with had specifically as well i was kind of i was putting a bit too much time into working like in the sense that i would be working till 2 a.m and or spending weekends um working and stuff like that because again if i get if i'm passionate about something i get really focused um and after that kind of period i really kind of listened to things she wanted to have changed and i feel i kind of made those changes so like i wouldn't work on the weekends um you know only went out like i think three times in five months and blah 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 but it's like the damage was done it's just like nothing uh, it's like her mind was already made up and she just doesn't feel the same way anymore it's just like you know, i said i was like well can't fight anymore for it you know can't change how you feel um yeah and yeah and she, she said as well she's like um she's like it's she's like it's hard because i you know, everything i see that i want in a man i just don't feel the same at the moment at, anymore and i'm like i don't know if that's like a nice way of putting me down slowly but whatever Um, but yeah, I'm kind of like, if I'm in, if I'm going through something like this or in pain, I kind of want to do the whole like, what was that, what was that like um, in Dragon Ball Z where you could like go in, you could like go into a training gym for like, hyperbolic time minute. chamber, bro. That's it, yeah. You're going for like one day. It's like the equivalent of a year, and like all they do is just training for like a whole year. I just want to be like hyperbolic, just uh, fucking slamming sensu beams. I feel you, man. Yeah, that's it. Just lock myself in the room and um, just work, you know. That's what's up. Once they made that up their mind, there's yeah. I mean, it sounds like you did everything you could. So I'm I'm sorry to hear that. You're already yeah. killing it. Way back on it. Look at this. This what you're drawing right now. It reminds me of Wolfenstein. Did you, did you watch that on Netflix? Uh, I, I haven't, haven't watched. Really it. I I played the game. Man, I, I think game. you would love it. Let me, yeah, let me make sure I'm talking about the right thing. But, um, you know, I think, I think also like the, the good thing as well is having, um, I think the, the Gen 2 drop in as well is going to be like kind of, I think it, it could, uh, it'd be a good kind of, um, 
validation for me as an artist as well again like because um it will i'm looking for everyone's i know everyone's gonna like kind of love it but um i think it's gonna give me even more kind of motivation and i think it's kind of coming at the right time um so so yeah yeah all that positive feedback definitely gonna gonna build you up for sure i i would feel like very uh satisfied that's not the exact word that i'm looking for but you know what i'm saying yeah. i would i would i would feel content i'd feel very happy with myself based on what i've seen out of you for gen 2 so far yeah i bet you're fucking on the edge of your seat man I i'm surprised honestly that you haven't been leaking some yeah, stuff I know. Like daily well the thing is like i feel um i also was like with with the way the dev was as well like i started kind of not sharing as much stuff because I was kind of like, fuck, like, I don't want to keep sharing the Gen 2 stuff when we ha we don't know if we can, like, when we can get it released yet. I was like, I just wanted to, I wanted to have confirmation, like, when it was done. So when we got the firm dates, um, I'm all about it. But then I also feel mm -hmm. like I definitely snuck a lot and I'm kind of like, let's just... I kind of want you to kind of maybe even forget what they look like a little bit so that when they actually mutate, you're going to be like, holy shit. Um, okay, that's fair. But again, I was even just looking back through them um, uh, yesterday and I was like, he's going to look fucking crazy. Um, Dude, every so time I look at that gold jacket robot one that you snug, the full evolution on that every time i look at it i'm still like god damn dude that is wild <laughs> like uh so yeah i'm I'm pumped i have to say one of my favorite traits i mean there's a lot of but one of my favorite traits is the um the acid tongue evolution it just looks it just looks hectic on anything you kind of kind of put it on um, yeah i love that one uh let me just uh, so again, because this is like a, we're gonna borrow some of the um line art from this blue suit. So I'm just going to uh, use this and oh, the show I was thinking about earlier. It wasn't Wolf and Science Castlevania. My bad. Ah, Castlevania. Okay, that was a that was a video game too, wasn't it? I think so. That's why I got them crossed up. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's cool. I'll have to watch it. Dude, it is. It's got some really dark humor. And, uh, man, that is a good show, dude. I, like, they put the first season out, and it was only a couple of episodes. But they, they like, they got a lot of funding. They could have made it, like, a 20-episode uh, thing. But they just, they jammed it all into making just, like, the, the best quality possible. And yeah, so it got so much, it got so much feedback that they then made. I'm pretty sure there's a second season now. Yeah. Thanks. Um, and it's on Netflix? Yeah, Netflix, yeah. Yes, thank Um But um yeah, I'm not gonna lie, like the uh this all this kind of stuff kind of blew up on the Thursday and um you know, I kind of felt the writing was on the wall, but then she had a friend come over from Sweden, so we kind of just, I was like, well, I'll just kind of let you chill with her, I'll kind of avoid you, and then we we kind of rediscussed things on the Monday, and it was just, kind of looks like that was it, and then, yeah, I'm not going to lie, like, Monday and Tuesday, I did kind of hit the drink a little bit, just because I was like, it was just raw, um, and... But it was just like like super like sad, just like me drinking on my own in in the spare room. Um, but uh, then you kind of just wake up the next day and just like fuck it, it's not gonna solve anything. Um, so I just kind of snapped out of that pretty quickly, and uh, it's onwards and upwards, you know. Um, and. You know, even as I'm talking to Spicy about it, she was really helpful. But um, like you know, it's probably also good that I have so much work ahead of me as well to kind of focus and 
uh, yeah, just channel it into that. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, how about delete this line here? So um, Christian's in the chat still, but um, also don't, don't know if you guys noticed, but um, uh, one of the crankies is getting turned into a video game, which is pretty sick. So um, Christian hit me up and was like, um, <laughs> "Hello, sheep." Congrats, Christian. Um, well, yeah, it's pretty sick because, like, Christian's like, we need to kind of just create, like, a, um, the cranky needs to kind of be able to kind of move. So, can you, like, Add some wheels, so I kind of turned it into like a little hot rod kind of cranky, and then um yeah, they turned into this like three D character, and I thought that's pretty sick. Um, oh, it's gonna be the crankies that are in the video game. Yeah, so oh, uh, uh, it's um, nice. congrats yeah, to some, you then. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. I was like, I that's fucking sick. Hey guys, it's uh, Christian here. Sorry, um, as I said, I'm in the chat. I'm uh, I'm out for lunch at the moment, but I am listening in and uh, and watching this amazing art being created as always. And uh, kudos to you, dude, for coming every week and delivering. Like it's amazing to see this stuff. And uh, I'm sure I, I share the thoughts with everybody. You know, to say sorry about you going through a hard time, but it's just testament to you, Johnny, as what a character you are. To to get through this and not only to get through it, but to be here sort of still, you know, doing your thing and, and, you know, flying the flag for the community and for the project. So, uh, yeah, it, I'm just so like, uh, honored, you know, that you guys are, are collaborating with us on this next piece. Um, I've said this before guys, you know, uh, Johnny, if you want a place to stay, mate, just to get away, um, for a week, two weeks, my wife's going to Czech Republic for a month soon. I'm due to go with her, but I've spoken to her. And <laughs> sorry for the kid in the background. Um, and I've, I've spoken to her and I said, like, look, I can delay my flight. And, and if you want to come down and just get a change of scenery to the south of Spain, you're more than welcome to come and just chill, dude, and just just get a disconnect because sometimes that's what you need in these moments. You know, it's just a change of scenery and and you can carry on doing your art, but. The offer's always there, dude. So just let me know because I think it's the twenty third. She flies to the Czech Republic for a month, so yeah, um, it would be great to host you, dude. Like you know, Gonzo came and stayed. So you're, mi casa is tu casa, as they say. I uh, really appreciate that, brother. Um, yeah, that actually means a lot. The only thing I'm always scared of though is like again, if I were to come down for a week in Marbella, then that's when it's like I would. I feel like I would be um off the rails, Johnny. <laughs> um. But um, <laughs> well, sometimes uh, sometimes you need to let loose, you know. Sometimes yeah. uh, you know it's not always a great thing, but you know sometimes you you know you need a a companion to do that with, and uh, <laughs> you know as long as it's not overextended. And trust me, like I'm the same. Like any excuse, I'll be out there. So it's not good for either of us to be on the loose for that long. But um, anyway, like I said, I don't know if anybody else agrees, but just sometimes. You know, when something like this happens, and it's happened to me a few times, unfortunately, I, I just can't, like, close the chapter until I just disconnect. I either go on a holiday or I need to just, do you know what yeah. I mean? I just need to stay somewhere you else. Don't even, you don't even want me to chime in on this one. You don't even want me to, but I'm going to. <laughs> go I'm going it. to. No, go through, okay. I, won't speak on, I'm not, I won't speak on anybody else's situation, but I will say that when the stress mounts up and like, I think about all the obligations cause I have like two sons and a house and vehicle and a lady and like, 
we, do we want to get a bigger house and upgrade and property and horses and a pond and a, and all these things it becomes very overwhelming and and i don't see the uh process i, I can see the end goal process is very hard to imagine that's why they tell you in the law of attraction don't sit there and and, and lament on the process because you'll get caught in the details you'll end up in one of the gears you know you end up in one of the cogs but um I sometimes feel like I just want to say, you know what, you guys, I feel like you're using me. I feel like I'm like a production unit. You guys are just making it along. Everyone's clicking their fingers, all happy and shit. And I'm, I'm like damn near depressed because I've been working so hard. I really just want to um, go to like Asia, join a monastery and, you know, be a monk for maybe 10 years. I don't want to pay taxes. I don't want to deal with money. I don't want to deal with politics. I don't give a shit what you think about the world or who's winning what because the red guy and the blue guy probably work for the purple guy anyway and no one knows who he is but somehow he pays my bills he tells me he pays my bills then tells me to pay bills because you, you make me you make me make money then you make me give you the money so you take money but you make the money you print the fucking money but i'm sitting here playing this game like a fucking merry-go-round so yeah just that's that's my opinion on that one firstly firstly it's always the purple guy and um <laughs> and um, I'm all about that mon uh, monk mon uh, monastery life sometimes. <laughs> um, I feel yeah. you. It's always the I feel guy. you, triple. It's always the purple guy. <laughs> no, I think I think like another like the thing that's um a bit tricky at the moment is like we're still obviously in the same house, so I kind of um stay in the spare room, but we're just trying to like give each other a bit of space, but. It's hard to obviously when you're in a small apartment. Um, so uh, my other friend, uh, he his girlfriend kind of lives with him uh, full time now. So she might be offering me her apartment for like say a month. I can kind of rent off her just while I kind of figure stuff out. But I need a kind of place where I can just set up a base and then and then go from there. But again, it's it's hard to kind of uh process i guess the r reality of everything with when you're still kind of in the same like the same area you know you kind of have to have a proper disconnect um uh i i, I had i had one one time where like it was crazy her and i were splitting and we were living still living in the same place and this was actually before I tripped for the first time. And then my buddy gave me two two really strong tabs, and I took them. I took them. I sat there on the couch, and I slipped into a wormhole and, like, flew through outer space. I was, like, zipping through the fucking cosmos. Full color. It was crazy. And I came out. It had only been a couple minutes, but I felt like I was gone for years. I was like, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. And I knew that I had, like – I knew that I had been gone for years, actually. My soul had been gone for years, and I had, like, obtained a ton of knowledge. Like, for some reason, I knew Kung Fu all of a sudden. You know what I'm saying? And it was crazy. And then – I, my buddy called me. He's like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "Yeah, I took both of them." He's like, "You took both of them?" I'm like, "Yeah." And I flew through outer space. He's like, "Oh, you fucking did it! Congratulations!" He's like, go, "Did you go outside?" I was like, "No, I haven't gone outside yet." He's like, "Go outside, go outside." I went outside and I was like, "Oh shit!" The whole sky is like it was nighttime. I was like, "It's undulating," and I can see ones and zeros everywhere. I was like, "The the clouds look like koi fish tails. They're just swimming like betas fish in the sky. It's crazy." And I was sitting on the porch, and my ex came out, and she looked at me. I looked at her, and he said, "What's up?" I was like. She's staring at me. He said, oh. He's like, go get her. Go get her. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I got off the phone, and, you know, it happened. And that was another experience. <laughs> can't can't wait, elaborate wait. on that one too much. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, so, you, you, so, you, are you saying, so you're saying you, you made up with her? Like you made up with her? Oh, no. We, did, we, we didn't make up. We just made. We made. <laughs> Made some different kind of made. different kind yeah. of undulating. Yeah, <laughs> there were, <laughs> the, the the night became moist. <laughs> twas a twas a twas a moist clear night. <laughs> uh, the undulations were strong. <laughs> oh man! All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna lock myself back in the box. Hold on a minute. No, I it... just recognized the voice. Is this Triple yeah, S? Sorry, I'm not yeah, looking at my S. screen. The phone's quiet. Oh my god. Yeah, I just recognized him from the space the other day. Legend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you don't like recognize the PFP. 
No, man, I'm Thank not looking at the phone, that. man. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I've just got my head to the phone, you know, because I can't hear you on the speakerphone in the restaurant. Um, but yeah, no, it's funny. I was just like, this voice sounds so familiar from uh, Shroom Sundays. <laughs> Where I do I know that the phone. cackling? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love it, man. Super energetic. Well, guys, look, I've got to go because, um, yeah, the wife is really like giving me the evils by now and she might throw me in the sea. Um, but uh, yeah, Johnny, dude, keep doing what you're doing, mate. You know, we're all here for you, buddy. And uh, yeah, I like I said, it, if you do want to have a couple of weeks. And dude, honestly, don't be shy. Like, if you if you just want to have a couple of weeks away, then just let me know. Um, if not, the apartment will be empty for a month. So, you know, if you need somewhere to just go and sort of uh, hibernate, then just give me a text, all right? I really Cheers, appreciate guys. it, brother. Bye. Yeah, buddy. Have a good day. Um. I just want to say I love what you're doing with the street colors right now. Oh, you do? I wasn't like I wasn't I wasn't sure how I was feeling it. Uh, so I've just been playing around with it. Okay, okay. I think we'll stick with these then. Um. Hey, liquor. What are you doing, liquor? Hey, how's it going, man? Rain. What are you doing? Good morning. What's up? What's up? Good morning. I got a whole I got a whole morning like full of shit and meetings and stuff, but right after that, before lunch, bro, we we need to commune, my brethren. We need to commune yeah. on things. Definitely, definitely. Um, just, just time. Just let me know when, what time. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hear it tonight, man. You. My voice is fucked. Uh oh. Um, I can I can do it. I'll do it for you. Oh shit. We'll yeah, have to check I'll do, that out. I'll do it for you. Just send send me the rhetoric. I'll, 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 you know what I'm saying? The show okay. must go on. It must. <laughs> Back on the call, damn it. Who's, uh, who's got the birds? That's me. Sorry, dude. No, it's all right. It's nice. We just got a bunch of new chickens in the backyard. Uh, oh, nice. One rooster, he's like way, he's a lot quieter than the last one. The last one was loud as shit, so this is, it's nice to have this quiet one. He sounds like he was strangled as a baby or something. He's like, Whoa! it's like, <laughs> it's like nothing close to what a, what a rooster is supposed to sound like. Uh, how many you got, like all up? Oh, shit, I think we we got like 15. One of them's kind of injured right now. We might be down to 14 soon. Shit. Yeah, those egg but yeah they're just, just laying like crazy, man. They just, each of them like one a day, so it, just, it gets kind of wild. Um, the Like we share them with the neighbors, and they, they're a pretty large family, so they t we split the eggs half and half, so it works out well. The chickens get plenty of yard space, and everyone gets eggs. Yeah, that's thick. That's nice. It's like a like a communal communal hatchery. Yeah. It's crazy how much better bands are in eggs case versus store bought. You know that the yolk is like much more dark as well. The the yolk from these eggs are like uh, orange or like more to the red side. And then when I get some uh, store-bought eggs, they're like yellow. They just look different. They just look weird to me now. I don't know. Kind of weird. Yeah, to got, um, the eggs here in Spain um, quite often it's like a really light yolk color. Like I, I kind of notice a difference compared to Australian eggs. Um, mm. I just feel like there's just something off with them, you know. I think it's directly related to what they eat. And uh, these like these chickens are just running around eating worms and stuff all the time. But I don't think those chickens from the uh, those yeah, massive yeah. farms are getting that. No, they're just getting some kind of fluid. yeah, literally it's fluid My and steroids. Yeah, yeah and antibiotics. Crazy. You ever see them go nuts eating the toad? Bro, though, if when they see mice, it's like they turn into little velociraptors. It's wild. Well, they're I haven't seen a toad though. Yeah, I remember one of my mom's chickens got a toad 
and like all the other chickens were just chasing after it as the one with the chicken was running away. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure yeah, the that's what they do. Separate. That's wild. Um. Yeah, even Joe Rogan actually is like I remember him talking about it. If you see a chicken like chasing after a mouse, they go seriously primal. It is wild. Toads are like tough though, man. They got like a tough hide. That that would be man, that would be rough to watch because it would take so long, I feel like. That's rough. It's definitely a scene straight out of National Geographic or animal. Yeah. Um, have you seen them do it have you seen them eat a mouse they could you... oh yeah there was a couple of them in my backyard uh i don't remember if it was i think it was earlier this year um they were like baby mice and like, like you could tell like there was one that was like really slow and then there was another one that was fast as shit dude he was like a little ninja mouse and that slow one got picked off real quick bro I, like i was watching him like try to get into this thing and like man they just just like Il said uh chicken came up and got it and then all the other chickens noticed what was happening and they started like all trying to get it and it was brutal but that quick one which is like pew 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 pew, pew he lasted like two weeks uh, but eventually got caught as well. But I mean, yeah. honestly, excellent vermin control. So you don't got to worry yeah, about mice getting into your house if there's if just a bunch of little mini velociraptors running around. Let's see. The bad thing is the poop. They shit everywhere, bro. So you just got to be didn't... careful not to like feed them on your patio because they, they shit where they eat. Basically. Yeah, okay. I didn't know... Um... I didn't really know that chickens were like hunters. I just thought they were just like scavengers, you know. I didn't know that they would like, hunt. yeah, hunt. I didn't like either. Them. Yeah, until I saw those mice. Yeah, I mean, I figured like I see them eating bugs and stuff. Like that's just average bird behavior, right? You never see yeah, like yeah, a, yeah, yeah, like a like a sparrow or a dove or something. I don't know what kind of birds you guys have there over there. They're not out there just like swooping up rabbits and shit. So. I have to admit, um, there's like a, there's these, there's these massive fucking seagulls here in Spain, and oh, yeah. quite often Bro, I- those things I, are brutal. Yeah, they're, they're really brutal, like I've seen them, um, they kill like pigeons or like other smaller birds, like quite often you'll be like yeah. walking along, along the, <laughs> along the sidewalk near the beach, and it's just like, it's just picking apart like the body of this freshly killed- bird i'm like fuck I, and i was like one time um uh we're walking down the street and uh this bird like the it was getting chased it was like a small one was getting chased by the seagull and i kind of just got in between <laughs> and like and and sheltered it under a car and then, <laughs> and they just uh uh they're just like eye me off um but good I, man uh, that's the kind of shit that i do as well even though it's like man that other i know it's, it's a, me, but i'm like i don't want to watch that <laughs> fuck you but guy get out of here yeah, yeah yeah exactly i know i was like um i know it's like against the kind of discovery channel yeah. kind of way but um yeah i was like not on my watch not on my watch i thought you were going to talk about those ones that like eat another bird whole i've seen like some weird like i, I think it's a pelican they like they land oh, yeah. next to other birds. They're like, oh, I'm just like you. And then just all of a sudden, go, just like real quick, snap their neck over and just swallow that bird whole. You can see it like struggling in their mouth and shit. That yeah. blew my mind, bro, watching him swallow that down his neck whole. I was like, yeah. bro, we're out here taking like tums and shit because we eat some spaghetti sauce. Or, like, I don't know. I know people that do that. I don't do that. But this bird's out here eating another bird live. Yeah. Imagine yeah, that yeah. in your stomach. Yeah. Slowly, um, just clawing around in there. That would be, it seems like it'd be so painful for you as the consumer. I seen a video the other day of, um, this, uh, I forget where it was, of, um, they cut open like an anaconda and there was like a woman inside. So it's like, oh. it's, yeah, like, a, uh, 
this family's grandmother, she was quite small and she'd gone missing. And they found her inside the body of this fucking anaconda in the jungle. Uh, I don't know whether she was caught by it or she, you know, died and then it ate. I don't know. I don't know the what, what that was, but that was pretty shocking to see. Yeah, like, that's that, crazy. That would, One, that would not be yeah. a way to go. No, that sucks, dude. One of the ones that I saw recently, they, they cut open a big snake and inside of it was like a five foot alligator. Like, oh, oh shit. That's that's yeah. crazy. Those things are wild, man. Um, there's like a uh, there was a show. Um, I don't know what it was supposed to be on, but it was like um, this guy was like, the whole premise of the show was he was gonna let himself get eaten by <laughs> by like an oh, anaconda. Man, like they tried so hard, right? And like. The whole thing is like he like hypes to show up like I'm gonna like have this suit on so like I'll be impervious to it and I'm gonna get eaten and see what it's like and then it's like five minutes in he's just like I can't do this cut it wow <laughs> like like it's like the snake starts and he's just like nah I can't do this and I was like what the fuck did you expect it was gonna be like like. <laughs> You thought you were just going to be cozy in there? It was like a sleeping bag, yeah. bro? Like, Yeah. Anything for content, hey. I suppose. But I feel that's like a little bit clickbaity as well. Like, <laughs> um, That's wild. Yeah. That's incredibly clickbaity. I'm going to get swallowed by a snake. Yeah. yeah. That's, and that's then... some really stupid shit. <laughs> I've seen people like drown themselves in a bathtub with somebody else to like pull them out literally just to get famous that's why they did it like why are you doing that bro don't don't do that or stop that dude uh, like i was tempting fate with the same shit though i'm gonna get eaten live by a snake like what don't yeah. do that don't common do that. sense tells you um I'm going to swim directly into a whale's mouth. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, exactly. Fucking don't, bro. Um, you... Oh, Nate's here. Good morning, bro. Morning, Nate. So does everyone know, like, does everyone know what pad they're evolving first? Like, does everyone have like one that they that they oh, want right. a specific? Someone did. Who, who was that? Yeah. I have no clue what I'm going to evolve first. Mm. I'm pretty torn. I, I've got three that I'm that I'm like, you know, if we're if we're going for absolute first, and you like you have to do them individually. I don't know if I'm gonna do um, the gold one that you said is gonna look really good, Johnny. Yeah, that one uh, look fucking sick, bro. The mask or the undead one that I have. But then there's also like the naked dude, and I'm like hella tempted to just shoot for a naked because those are sweet. So it's it's just really tough, honestly. Naked's just been on the floor right now. I can't keep my eye on it. Couple of them you got your eye on? I mean, I got my eye on them. Doesn't mean I'll be able to afford them. <laughs> oh shit! That means they're. They're listed if he's got his eye on them, man. Last time <laughs> I looked, I didn't see too many nakeds. Oh, shit. I'm really pumped for the strawberry. I feel like that's an underrated one. Like, everybody... The strawberry skin? Yeah, the strawberry skin. Like, when you're yeah. drawing that, oh, I... I, I was just really impressed with that one. I like that one a lot. Yeah, I have to admit, like, the strawberry skin was one that, like, came out of nowhere and turned really cool. Mm. Um... Yeah, 
does the, does the prizing for me. We've seen one of the the purple evolved forms, but I don't know if it's the purple or the purple velvet. So I'm, I'm curious. I'm pretty keen to see that. I don't think we've seen um, like one of those. You know what I mean? Um. Yeah, I'm not too sure actually. The gold, the gold skin is definitely very cool. Absolutely. Um, the gems on the inside of the chest. Everybody's going to be looking at Kotashi Bushi's gold. That's going to have so many favorites, man. 100%. Um, I okay, guess so with this boot as well, I was thinking of in lane a pattern to it um so um might get good morning spice hello what up spice hi i was just waiting for a you know a break in the conversation before i you know got my shrillax on I was good. <laughs> i'm glad you <laughs> mentioned it entered relax <laughs> entered the chat <laughs> <laughs> um no i had to pop in and and let you know that for some reason i'm having an issue receiving incoming emails so i haven't received the poet links yet um uh, i've been on i've been on the chat to them um and they've told me that they've been approved and they've emailed them out to me but because i don't have the download link i i can't get them and they won't issue them over chat so I have to speak to IT. Okay. Mm. Uh, and it's just incoming emails. Like I can send emails and people receive them. I just can't get them. <laughs> Dang, that's irritating. Is it well, annoying? Thanks for letting us know, though. No, I mean, okay. for you, it's irritating, I feel like. They're yeah, usually like, they, they're usually super quick. They are. That's why, like, after two hours and I hadn't heard anything, I was like, what the fuck? Those yeah, guys okay. taking the day off over there. But yeah, I just said I'd, I'd stop on in and I will love you and leave you. Are you leaving us, Spice? I am. I, I've, well, it's, it's quarter to 11 and I haven't eaten dinner yet. And I thought I might try and achieve that. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> But um, um, what pattern are you putting in the suit? That's what I'm coming to. I was gonna maybe steal one from my Tutankhamun. Mm -hmm. um, Good idea. Uh, so I might actually save the swatch library as patterns, and I might be able because again, it's this is really slowing down my um. Uh, uh... Yeah. Paisley or, or potentially even the flowers could look cool. Yeah, but it's because this file is so fucking big. It, it, I, mm. I need to try and save the. I'm going to save the patterns as a. Let's watch the images, then... yeah. Yeah. So smart. Spicy, spicy. You're getting a. You're getting um. Quite quite good at Illustrator now, hey. Yeah. No. Not really. I still don't there know how are. to use the fucking. I don't know how to use the pen tool. Yeah, I'm good at copy and pasting. <laughs> <laughs> the the pen tool. Can you make look good? Yeah. No, thank you. The pen tool is like one of those tools that's like, um, at the start I'm like, what the fuck is this? But now it's like it's one of the best things ever. Once you kind mm -hmm. of get a handle of it. I don't even know where to begin with it. There is a there is a um I'll a try tutorial. and find it for you. There's like a, it's like a literally um, a website with this kind of game that's like designed mm -hmm. for you to understand the pen tool. And it's just like oh, these cool. little tiny little exercises. Yeah. Um, okay. This is, I've just got this. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got the spinning. Oh, hang on. That might've worked. Let's have a look. Um,
Is this an old, an old, uh, one of the assets from Gen 1? Uh, so the outside of the suit is, but the inside yeah. isn't. We kind of made like a fancy cravat suit. Yeah. And um, and now we're going to put some patterns in and a few little uh, touches. I only asked because I saw the, how thick the lines were. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but again, because these are for the yeah. for the um honorary clothing. Uh -huh. um, oh, that's what you're doing now. Sick. Yeah. So again, I'll show you the oh. shit. Where is it? Um. Uh, I'll just show you quickly. Do I need to add um? I need to add the shading to this. <laughs> So we've got some uh, cybernetic armor coming through. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So you kind of That's get what you like, say for sure. Yeah. Hmm. So you're sitting in like What does that remind me of? What movie is that? Like, a, it's not Alien vs. Predator. It's something else. Cat in the Hat? Cat, cat in the Hat. No, I was joking. I just pulled oh, a random. Just, wow, we're going to talk this morning, mate. Calm down. <laughs> Cat in the Hat was like watching a fever dream. It was the weirdest movie. Have um, you ever tried to read any of Dr. Seuss's books really quickly? Like, particularly Fo uh, Fox in Socks? No. I have, what? Not recently. I, I don't think. It, it's very hard. Is this what you do on, is this what you do on a Saturday night? <laughs> I sit at home with Fox and Socks. <laughs> yeah, is this what you, you're just like. Hey guys, what do you want? Do you want to? Do you just want to sit around and just read Doctor Zeus books really quickly? Yeah. Just see who's like the quickest. Yeah, and then wild. I look around, no one's here. <laughs> no, I I used to read it to my niece, and uh, she she um told me what is it? Go faster! And I was like, I don't actually think I can. <laughs> um. What, what are your it? what are your guys' thoughts on making uh, the jacket like gold? Um, Sounds good to me. I mean, I'm down to see what it. gold trading. Uh, just give me a sec. Hmm. Um, That's dope too. Maybe a bit more yellowy here. Oh, I say that it's two layers, so um, we can. Fuck, man, my uh, computer's starting to. Yeah. It always starts to slow down at the end. Um, what are you wowing for, Spice? Sorry, I was wearing. <laughs> I forgot my mic was still on. <laughs> I was doing it at my boyfriend. <laughs> Wow. I was like, wow, wow. <laughs> What's he doing? Is he um putting up the Christmas tree again? <laughs> we're just we're just gonna have a rave. That was the funniest with, uh, that's Christmas that... tree and Dr. Seuss. That was the it's funniest thing off. I've ever, ever oh, seen. How hectic was that? <laughs> <laughs> that's what... yeah. He reckons that's the last Christmas tree I'm ever getting. That's the last Christmas tree I want him to get. <laughs> But the funniest thing is, like, because Spice had just filmed it. So I don't know if anyone knows, but um, Spice's boyfriend, like, went out and, <laughs> and got uh, Christmas lights for the tree. And it was, like... I'll put the video in the chat. There's a video, and it's just, like... <laughs> it's, like, a off. fucking... It's, like, a rave. <laughs> like, it's, like, a proper strobe light, like... <laughs> and the best thing is Spice is, like, this... Is, and, like, you just hear, you hear, like, her boyfriend in the background, like... Pretty fucking sick, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Um, where is this thing? Oh, that was funny. That was too funny. Do I still have it? Are they like supposed to be outside lights and they used them for a Christmas tree? Is that why they were so bright and strobing? Okay, built in. Like it was a, it was oh, a part of the tree. the tree, the lights were one. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. Yep, that's what happens when you buy the last Christmas tree on New Year's, uh, New Year's Eve, on Christmas Eve. 
<laughs> so I'll take the display one that no one wanted for good reason. Wow. That's pretty cool how you can do that, Johnny. Oh, uh, yeah. So uh, the pattern will need to be enlarged. I'm just going to edit the colors. See if I can do it through here. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and might just uh, expand it instead of actually having to change the whole fucking thing. Um, Maybe what? No. Okay. All right, I posted in the in the chat. <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> The yeah boy in the background, it kills me. I love it. Um. Lock all these layers. <laughs> my Christmas tree is wild. Yeah, it's brighter than my future. <laughs> <laughs> now that I've shared what Christmas is like in my house, I am out of here. <laughs> all right, I don't know. It was good talking, Spicy. Good Thanks talking to you all. In, spicy. <laughs> all good. And Enjoy the rest of the uh, live draw. <laughs> I'm, I reckon. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <It's a fun. laughs> All right, later. Please. That's brighter than my future pitch. Made me laugh out loud. <laughs> uh, shit. That tree's so fucking bright. For real. I wasn't expecting that. Especially yeah, like this, they, they, they weren't lying about the strobe light effect. No, I 100%. think it's like a Christmas vacation when he finally gets the lights on and blasts out the whole neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. But it also like, I think, um, I think what he's done is he's bought outdoor Christmas lights. Like, I think that's for, like, a, to put on your house on the outside. So they also look she said that they came, she said that they came installed on the tree. Shit. It was like one piece. That's what she said. I, I literally asked. I was like, those, are those outside Christmas lights? And she was like, oh. Shit. That's wild. Dude, you got that. 
uh, texture on that suit really quick. Like I was expecting yeah, yeah. a bunch of like you had to cut some shit out here and there, but bam, dude, nice. No, I see the pattern, like the pattern maker in uh, Illustrator is really cool. Um, I think I've shown you guys it before as well, and like with the like say with this uh, uh, skate deck, there's a lot of patterns that I kind of made. Um, and then you kind of save them as swatches, and then it just allows you to kind of like pile them. Um, I'll show you this quickly actually. Uh, what how to make patterns? It's pretty fun. Um, just make a really simple one. Let's See you later, Sheeb. Adios, Sheeb. Thank you. Um, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> do some random shapes. Whatever. It's just, it's going to look random. Nah, but the cool thing with, what I like with the pattern maker is you can say make pattern and then um, you can go like live into the pattern maker and you can adjust it to see exactly how it's going to work on the rest of it. And then you can add in. Oh, Johnny thing. just made up peppins. Look at that. So you say that's one even lower price than FT right there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, but um, I will say, fucking the thing that's changing this whole game as well, like with patterns, is um the AI art like. Uh, AI mid journey and stuff, you can make some crazy patterns, quick patterns as well. And I've been seeing some people making money by literally just uploading onto like Society Six or Redbubble and selling them on like phone cases and things like that. So that's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. I mean, um, I I have been actually tinkering with mid journey and it's a really cool like it's a really cool tool for um playing around or coming up with ideas because again like when you're like looking if i'm like looking for inspiration for say like the cybernetic armor i'll type in like cybernetic armor concept art and like i look at different things to kind of get some inspo but with the mid journey you can like really whittle it down and get different things um unique things really quickly um which i think is is really cool really cool aspect of it um but again it's also why like i think and uh why we think this year, year is the year to do it is like to we are going to move to have the like full-on live event where you know i'll take acid and draw for the whole day kind of thing because again it's something where it's like you you're, you just kind of can't you need to kind of um differentiate uh the process and it's something that ai kind of can't do but i think then the performance aspect of creating the art like under the influence like that it's like something that's also like really like um uh shareable and and a talking piece you know and then it kind of will add value to all other um work beforehand so, um yeah i'm really excited for that actually um yeah me too man i haven't heard of anybody else doing that kind of thing like yeah streaming their their live acid session and putting out incredible art like i've seen people do some drugs i suppose on like twitch and stuff here and there but they were just playing video games you know they weren't like creating awesome shit yeah spawning and things, i think like you know from the ether for us yeah and i think like the the thing is like like a lot of art sometimes is like the performance um there's like a performance aspect that can increase the value of art like similar to um there was like the banks the banks he had like sold a painting uh it was like the girl with the red balloon um and he inlaid inside the but no one knew this until it happened but inside the frame he had like a paper shredder so like when this it was a really famous painting and it went on to it went on on auction and it got sold for heaps or whatever. And as the gavel hit the ground, he's obviously remote. Wherever he is, he remote 
press the button and then like the um the paper started going through the shredder so the painting was getting shredded yeah so like you hear this like beep 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 and like everyone's like what the fuck's going on like even the the um the auctioneer's like what is going on and then you see half the painting just get shredded after it got sold for like hundreds of thousands or whatever and um as art critics and stuff even said that like ironically the value of that painting is gonna go up now because that like moment in time is now like part of the piece you know that that performance aspect is so it's like again um whatever i create through the live draw the like like that those, those influence pieces the value of that piece will be imbued with the um the performance aspect of like you know we again i don't think i've ever really seen anyone kind of do something like that before so it could be like a we could really kind of position it like a world first kind of thing and then i think it's also like something that's um it's also quite like uh marketable like you can see as i said as well like um you know imagine if joe rogan gets wind of it or something and he's like yo have you seen this fucking guy this australian guy just gets like live on twitch and just just takes acid and draws these fucking crazy pictures um yeah i think uh it could blow up yeah Um, me too he's all about the drugs he loves sharing awareness and if you're out there putting out a good vibe a good message uh with what you're doing then I feel like he'll show up on his radar, especially having connections with Uganda, who's already his friend. He's mentioned him multiple times. Yeah, and we already Seems like we're even talking about like we're already talking about kind of hoping to leverage that as well. Um, mm. And again, you can even see Ugon like Ugonzo is an example where one of his pieces obviously got picked up by Rogan, and then like Ugonzo's like following count just went fucking like gangbusters. You know, like it was like really obviously. A uh, really good exposure, but I, the, uh, the other other aspect that I also kind of want to, not just like it's not also just for the um for the uh, the process of watching something cool and the entertainment purpose of that. It's also like it. I want to show the educational side of it in the sense that like I think take away some of the stigma that psychedelics can have because I think what a lot of people might be people who don't know a lot of or haven't had a lot of experience with psychedelics when they hear like oh you know someone tripping out they might have a like a vision of what that is when like when honestly when i'm on psychedelics i'm really like the opposite of what that looks like i'm not like i'm pretty like calm and just i I kind of want to show that it's not like a crazy fucking you know you're gonna um, hellish roller coaster ride yeah, like you're, and you're staying with an orange peeler and fucking yeah, you gotta stop like, World War Three, Brian. Yeah, and sit in the corner yeah. and yeah, sit in the corner like, and or like you know all that kind of shit, that kind of stigma. Um, I kind of wanna, kind of wanna show. Um, so yeah, definitely very fucking excited for that. Um, which is also why it's like. Uh, no, I was just saying it's also why I kind of need to get my own place so I can get, get that all set up. And you can also, the good thing hard is if you're driven by yourself. That's yeah, for sure. Ten tab, ten, ten tab. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I did ten tabs and tried, there's no, there's just no chance. I like there would be no chance. I remember one, I one, one time I tried. Um, I think I told you this on a stream Sunday. So it was like. I tried this stuff called 4HOMET. It's like a capsule. Um, it's like a synthetic. I went to pick up acid and the guys, I don't have acid, but I got this. And I was like, well, I just drove like 40 minutes to get to the guy. And he's like, and I was like, you tell me now. So I was like, okay. And he's like, look, it's very similar to like having um, magic mushrooms. But I kind of just, I kind of underestimated it. So I had like a night to myself and I had like set up all my drawing stuff. I had like my cold water. I always like a nice crisp can of coat. I have like the bed just in case things get too heavy or whatever. And so I started drawing those up and then it just hit within about like half an hour and it hit pretty hard. Like to the point where I was like, yeah, I got to go lie down. And I just laid like laid in the bed and just, it was like having, um, it was like having like a, um, quite a strong um uh mushroom trip and um i saw 
Jabba the Hutt, like, in my feet, like, <laughs> at the end of the bed, just, like, coming out of the sheets. Um, okay. Yeah. But then, um, yeah, after I could, after that, I returned um, and finished the drawing. But I feel like if I did, if I do too much and tried to do a live draw, you're just going to get, like, half an hour, no, um, two hours of me just lying on the, lying on the couch. Yeah, I mean, people pay to watch people sleep on Twitch, so you'd be surprised how many viewers you can maintain if you already have them at that point. Yeah, um, 100%. But, like, people might be, show up just for this. You, like, you, all you have to do is make your title strip, because, like, uh, a sheet of acid is 100, and then a strip is 10 for us out here. I don't know how everybody else says, but you could just, your title for your stream is S-T-R-I-P, and then everybody's in a, in a chat, like, he took 10, he took 10, holy fuck. And then, like, you, if you're chilling in the bed, like, fucking holding, like, clutching a pillow, like, just tripping out, you know? Like, people are going to be like, holy fuck, bro, he's tripping balls, you know? Like, yeah, I, I, at the same time, like, I personally, I try to get away from electronics when I'm tripping. So, like, kudos to you. Props for being able to, uh, like, handle your, your, uh, your pad there, you know, to be able to draw, like, on a digital surface. Because I, I got to, like... I don't know, I feel dumb as fuck when I try to get on a computer and I'm tripping. Can't yeah, but I think done. I think sometimes like you also have to make sure you haven't got too much going on on the computer as well. Like you need to like have everything set up ready because you mm. don't like then again sometimes like if you you just get like lost in you sometimes get get lost in just using the computer. You're just like like you're rediscovering using a computer again. Um, yeah. um but uh my like my canary in the mineshaft for when I'm tripping is always looking at my phone and seeing if the um the the letters are jumping around. But as soon as I see them like moving around, I'm like like if if I'm like, am I still tripping? I look down and they're still kind of like moving or warping. I'm like, okay. I'm like, am I coming up yet? I check and they're starting to move. I'm like, okay, it's, it's starting to take hold. Oh, shit. What is your phone background? Are you going to share that with us so we can all have this? Uh, oh, no, no. It's not like, it's not, um, it's inception just the. Uh, inception thing? This, no, no, this it's is just like it's an just, inception. It's, got that spinny top. No, no, it's just like, it's just like uh, when you, um, like this text message, just the, the actual text. Oh, okay. I was imagining like a jumble of words and like some kind of crazy fucking pattern. Um, what you said about Banksy and that, um, uh, like paper shredding his, his art that like those people in that fucking audience right there probably felt like they were in a goddamn movie. Dude. They were sitting there like, Oh my God, is, is somebody about to come in here? Are gangsters about to come in here with Tommy guns? Like that is, that is, that is some wild stuff, man. That's very creative. Yeah. A hundred percent. And like he, I think, um, I, I think he was like, about it. Yeah, I think he's I think he's clever in what he did. Um but yeah. A lot of value there. Um and I think as well, like in a um in a market where like the like again, I I, I think the AI art stuff is incredible and stuff. Um but I I kinda do envision that it, the market might get so saturated by it that there will be a greater like want for a return to kind of traditional art or like art that's that is created by people you know um mm. and uh yeah i think that's gonna be like a really driving force i'm just going to group all these up well i think well, i think a lot of the general public is going to at AI as, as sort of like cheating. So when they find out that something was drawn by a person or music that was created by a person, uh, they're going to look at it as uh, uh, much more legitimate. You know? Yeah, yeah, I, I can say that as well. Like, yeah. Um, but the thing is, as well, it's just like, it's, it's incredible um, what it can do you know, already, and it's only going to get better. And sometimes, like, it's, like, 
it just it feels a bit weird because the the arc can look quite beautiful and moving, like um, and it feels weird to know that it's like um, like this cre this creative expression that again people always used to feel like you know that um art was going to be the one thing impervious to like computers you know it's not going to be the one thing that like uh they can replicate but they they are you know um it reminds me of that scene in like i robot where he's like he's like i can't paint a picture but i can bring something from memory and then he starts like creating this picture on the pay on the um and it's paper. just like like a masterpiece in 12 seconds yeah he's like just prints it out yeah that's wild um, I was watching uh, or listening to Joe Rogan speak with Michio Kaku again recently. Um, the last time that Michio Kaku was on there, apparently Joe Rogan always talks about this. He was like very uh, dismissive of psychedelics and drugs. And basically said they were going to rot his mind. And as a scientist, he needed to have a functioning mind. So basically, I'm listening to this one to see if maybe Joe Rogan hating on him all this time has, has made him... They're not hating on him, but like he he shares he shares that Michio Kaku has been brainwashed by all that eighties bullshit. You know what I'm saying? This is your brain yeah, on yeah, drugs. Yeah. Basically, he he's you know. So I'm waiting for him to be like, yo. So you still feel like that? I'm waiting for that moment. But um, he was talking about AI and the fact that all of the AI currently is a bunch of clipped up text that humans wrote being manipulated and copy pasted essentially by a program so people read it and they're like wow that sounds like a human wrote it because it fucking was bro <laughs> like yeah, uh, yeah that's where it came from so I, yeah I, I definitely hear what you're saying there ills about it you know people are going to see it as like cheating or something you know if you can like wow that's this exact sentence is from here you know once they have some kind of aggregator that can be like whoa this is just a bunch of random shit from these different sources which will probably yeah, well, eventually I mean, happen. Well, I mean, even even the art, like even the art, I mean, it's all referencing, you know, hundreds of thousands of different images that we have created. Like, so it's 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 feeding back um, stuff that we have put out there. Just it's kind of like patching it all together. And again, like even the thing is, even as like um, established artists that might have you know a style, a recognizable style, you can also um ask the ai to be like paint me a picture in picasso style or warhol style or van gogh's or whatever and again it's it's going to like all their work seeing what they're doing and then um spitting it back out so again it is still using what what they have created mm -hmm. um, i'm just gonna pop this in here I was wondering what was going to happen to those joints. Uh, shit. I can't paste. There we go. But I think we are close to being done unless there's anything else you guys can think of that we could kind of add to this or what do you guys feel i don't know recently on twitter i saw a joint that was like rolled in keef and stuff i don't know if you can like make it look like the joints have keef on them or something but that would be like the only thing that i thought of oh, as it is it already looks badass honestly it doesn't even need anything else um Keef is like when it's like, it's like it looks like it's like got moss shit on its out on the outside, or yeah. So like when you grind up your your butt and then on the on the bottom layer, that's all the the keef is on the bottom. It's that powder. Okay. Okay. So like this joint was dipped in like um they rolled a joint, dipped it in resin, and then rolled it in keef. So it was like you know super joint, whatever you know. Okay. Basically, that's what we're doing. Everything is upgraded for the honorary. 
Um, could I don't know. What are you going to say? Give me a sec. Um, just gonna grab something. Um, I think it's in here. We could have like shit. We could just have like a whole nug. Back in there as well. Like on my stream where they had those like push ups, but it's a big bud coming out of the thing. Like a push pop? Is that what you, is that what you said? Yeah, you don't remember that on Cheech and Chong? Like the ice cream? Like you're selling, yeah, it looked like you're selling push pops, but then you. <laughs> Giant bud inside of it. And they're driving. That's hilarious. Ice, ice cream truck. I don't remember that. I've must have been too blazed. You must revisit it. <laughs> Indeed. Um. Uh, one second. What about that? What about that sack that you put on Mike Tyson's pigeon? Um, I don't know. I was just wondering if that would be easier to put in there because it's like square, but this looks. Let me have a look. I love that picture. Um, yeah, you did a great job on that, man. Looks thick. Um, yeah, I don't know if that would work. Um, yeah. Just going to fry something. For some reason, I was thinking it was like powder or something, honestly. Different type of bag. Like, or pills, yeah. I thought it was something else in the bag, honestly. So if it was peeking out with like a bunch of pills, you know, that would make more sense than just like the tip of a nug. This looks sick, though. I'm just gonna put this one. Ready to party. That's it. You guys ever smoke blunts out there, Johnny? In Spain? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know if the terminology, like, uh, you know, was the same over there. Uh, the thing is, as well, they got like um, they got a lot of like legal weed here. It's like it's like CBD, like really like low THC weed. But then um, you can buy. My mate has a card, like it's like a cannabis club card. I think it's the equivalent of like being able to go to a, a dispensary, and uh, he always goes and gets some good stuff. So if we're ever like playing uh, video games at his, we'll have. I was right on two. Pretty good. Right on. So joints are rolled in like that that white paper there. Once I don't know yeah. if we're talking about the same thing. They're like in a you get a a cigar essentially. They're cigarillos. So they're like oh mini shit. Cigars. Okay. You uh... cut them open and you take all the tobacco out. So you have this tobacco powder uh, paper instead of like a you know the white paper. And then you roll uh, okay. all that weed into that, and you get the effects of both the tobacco and the weed. That's what a blunt is. And oh, I remember shit, when I was okay. in college. When I was in college, I had a, uh, fuck, I don't even remember what class it was now. It was some kind of health class. Um, and this guy was talking about how cigarillo sales have really dramatically gone up in the past 10 years. I, I really hope people aren't inhaling these things. I, I like raised my hand and I was like, dude, people are probably buying blunts. Or no, I didn't raise my hand. I, I went up to him after the end of the class. But I remember now because I don't want to say that in front of everybody there. But um, that teacher was pretty cool. So I walked up to him afterwards. I explained what a blunt was. And he was like, oh. And I showed him like a video of a rapper smoking one, and he was like, "Oh, well, that makes a lot more sense." So, <laughs> yeah, that's I don't know. That's something that people do a lot out here. Um, no, I've don't, I've never done that. Then I like I'll be honest with you. I always thought a blunt was just another ter- term for a joint. I always thought, um, uh, what the hell? Whoa, whoa. I thought I deleted everything. I thought everything yeah, got fucked. Yeah. Shit. Okay, I'm just gonna right click save. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. Yeah. Fuck me. Um. Yeah, it happened to me in the past. That is like the the one thing I absolutely like. Proper, and I, I am better now in terms of like remembering to say but sometimes i get like lost in the drawing and i'll just be drawing for a couple of hours and not really paying attention and then something glitches and the program crashes crashes and then you realize you've lost like two three hours worth of work and that hurts it hurts because like I just have to go in and redraw what I've done, but like redrawing something that you've already just done, like already spent the time perfecting, it just feels, uh, it just feels like lost time. It just, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Um, yeah, okay. I've done it with like writing, and for me, the the issue is, is like I know that I'm not gonna remember the exact way that I phrased it before, and yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It, that that irritates me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I also feel as well the second time around, I'm because I'm annoyed at what's happened. I'm yeah. just trying to get the work done again. So I'm like, I'm not putting the care as much care into it, which is annoying. That also annoys me even further. Yeah, I feel that. Um, yeah. Sheesh, Gangeth would be proud. I remember it was Ill or Do who said that. This, is, this should be called the Gangeth suit. I love that eye, uh, the banana eyes as well. I don't. I don't think my mic was muted at the beginning of this when I said that. The banana eyes was a trait from Pad One that I never included. Like I did it, and I wasn't sure if I liked them, so I never actually included them in the collection. Um, huh. um but I think some people vibe with them, so it could even it be is like a. Dark. a <laughs> um, it could be like an honorary um, eye trait that people can choose. But um, that's kind of what he'll be kind of looking like. And then again, there will be um, people will be able to have their like uh, their badges and stuff here. Um, but uh, I think that's about it for today. I know we kind of gone over a little bit, but I wanted to kind of get this done. Um, 
and in terms of like the honoraries as well, we will be getting the form and stuff um, sorted. It's just like with the Gen 2, we kind of wanted to focus on having that out as well. But um, then with the um, honorary base, it's going to be like a lot more of these kind of rolled out during the week. And again, I will also put it up in the honorary chat, like any ideas you guys have uh, for traits and stuff. So I will just go back and. Uh, get my little graph. The fuck is it? Um, so because it's like a, um, it's a small little collection. We can, we can even add, you know, um, extra things. So um, think about things like this, like uh, you know like a hand tray, you know, um, or, or, you know, back bling or so some extra earrings or, you know, even piercings and stuff like that. There's more, um, there's more room to kind of play around and like make them a lot more, a lot more custom. So, um, what I'll do is we'll get that chat set up so that you guys can put in more suggestions because uh, again, I want them to reflect what you guys want. But, uh, other than that, guys, I think that's about it for today. I um, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the live draw. Uh, sorry again if I was a bit flat today. It's just um, obviously everything with my missus is a bit fucking uh, full on. But again, as I said, I'm not going to let it slow us down. Just going to channel all that into um, into work. And we've got big things um, on the horizon as well. So um, now's the time to fucking go out and crush it. But uh, thank you again for keeping me company during the live draw. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we've got the um, we got Shroom Sundays on Sunday, so I'll see you on Sunday. But then big day on the Monday. Um, evolution. Can't fucking wait. And again, guys, as well, um, a big part of like marketing the Gen 2 as well to the public as well is just as soon as you're evolving them, just get them out in front of as many people as possible. So just I want to kind of see them all over Twitter um because again i think it's gonna really really melt some people's minds but on that guys enjoy the rest of your day and um i'll see you guys next time thanks johnny it was great as always man